Welcome to Engineer's Mindset. So let's say we have the problem on the board f of xy equals tan inverse of x all over x plus y and we are asked to find the partial derivative of the function with respect to x and also with respect to y. Okay, so I will start with partial f of x over partial x. Alright, so first thing I'll do, I'll say let z be equal to f of x y just to break this whole f of x is too bulky for me all right so that means i'm calling this man z so this simply implies that z itself is now equal to tan um, inverse of x all over x plus y okay just to break this down a bit now i want to find partial derivative of z with respect to x i'll start with this first all right so let's invoke the function now from z equals tan inverse of x all over x plus y this is what i will do i will simply break this equation down by simply saying let a be equal to x all over x plus y if i say this this now simply implies that z itself is now equal to simply what tan inverse of a so in place of x all over x plus y i'm simply calling that what a so it means z is simply tan inverse of a from here now we notice now that z itself now is now what a function of a which means z depends on a to be defined also a here is now a function of both x and y okay so a is simply a function of x and y so we have this and i've said that if this is a function of a meanwhile a is a function of x and y then such a situation is what we call function of functions and whenever we have function of function in calculus the best method or the only method we can always employ i've always said is what simply the chain rule of partial derivative so we are simply going to employ chain rule of partial derivative now what is the chain rule i've established that z is a function of a this simply means that i can only differentiate z partially with respect to what a <clears throat> so i can only find partial z partial a because z is a function of only a so i can only find partial z partial a here i have that a is a function of both x and y so which means i can find the partial derivative of a with respect to x i can also find the partial derivative of a also with respect to what only y because a is a function of x and y now the chain rule simply comes if i want to look for partial z partial x partial z all over partial x is now simply equal to multiply what partial a partial x to what partial z partial a since i know now that i can find partial z partial a from this function it means partial z all over partial a multiplies partial a all over partial x so from here partial a cancels partial a i am left with simply partial z all over partial x which is what i am looking for all right so that is the first thing to establish and all right so from here now all i need to do is to simply what find partial z partial a and also find partial a partial x all right so from z equal to tan inverse of a from z equals tan inverse of a okay if i differentiate z partial z all over partial a is simply equal to to differentiate an inverse trig function you're simply going to have one all over one plus a squared so this becomes the derivative of that function okay one all over one plus a squared okay but recall but a recall that a was given as simply what x all over x plus y so a is simply x all over x plus y so which means i can simply now write partial z all over partial a to now be equal to simply one all over one plus in place of a squared we simply have x all over x plus y all squared so i have this okay this can also be written as partial z 
all over partial a is now equal to i can simply write this as one all over one plus okay this is simpler saying x all squared all over x plus y all squared okay that's something as saying this okay x all over x plus y all squared is something as saying x all squared all over x plus y all squared okay so from here now let me take lcm of the, um, this denominator of course this one here is something as saying one all over one still the same thing as one so i simply pick lcm between the two and lcm between the two still remains x plus y all squared okay so i'll simply have partial z all over partial a to be equal to one all over okay so the lcm here is simply x plus y all squared okay all over so x plus y squared goes into one still remains x plus y squared now x plus y squared multiplied by one or simply Whenever you get the LCM, what you do next is simply cross multiply. Let the hood of this value multiply 1 and let this one multiply x squared. So if I have x plus y squared multiplying 1, it still gives me x plus y all squared plus. Here, if I have 1 multiplying x squared, it still gives me x squared. Okay, so I have this. Now from board mass, remember after brackets of uh, division after division is what multiplication so whenever we take off the division sign we introduce multiplication to it so just a little bit remembrance um, if I have 1 all over 2 over 3 all over 2 this is simply saying from board mass 1 all over 2 now I want to change the division sign to multiplication so it becomes multiplying by so I simply send this to up it becomes 2 all over 3 same thing happens when I have 1 over 2 over 3 and this 2 is actually dividing this 3. It means that this 1 here is actually 1 all over 1. So I'll simply have 1 all over 1 multiplied by this 3 comes from becomes 3 all over 2. Alright, so the same thing applies here now. I have the whole of this term dividing by what? x plus y all squared. So which means this 1 here is actually 1 all over 1. Alright, so I need to take off this division now. I'm simply going to have partial z all over partial x to simply be, since this one is standing on this one, it becomes 1 all over 1 multiplied by, this now comes off, becomes x plus y all squared, okay, all over x plus y squared, okay, plus x squared. So I have this, and therefore partial z, Sorry, it is partial z partial a. Okay, and therefore partial z all over partial a is now equal to, of course, 1 multiplied by this c gives us x plus y all squared all over, and 1 multiplied by this c gives us x plus y all squared plus x squared. So I keep this aside. So this becomes the partial derivative of z with respect to a so which means this part of the chain rule has been found so this part of the chain rule partial z partial a have been found next thing i need to find out is simply what partial a partial x so from the values of a differentiate a with respect to what simply x let's try it now and see a recall we said a is equal to from a equal to x all over x plus y okay this is actually what a quotient because we have two values dividing each other so which means we are going to employ the quotient rule of what partial derivative and recall from the quotient rule i simply said um if if i have z to be equal to u all over a to be equal to u all over v then the quotient rule is simply if i look if i want to look for the partial derivative of z with respect to x is simply equal to keep the bottom which is v differentiate the top partial u all over partial x with respect to x now minus keep the top which is u now differentiate the bottom which is partial v with respect to x all over partial x all over simply what the bottom squared that is actually what the quotient rule so we are still going to employ this to what differentiating this remember the rule 
keep the bottom v the bottom here is simply x plus y okay differentiate you partially with respect to x and u here is the top which is x okay minus now you keep the top which is x then differentiate the bottom which is x plus y with respect to x all over bottom squared so all over x plus y all squared we are going to now employ this rule to solving what this derivative okay. all right so simply if from here now simply say let u be equal to x and v equals x plus y so i'm simply saying let u be the top and let v equal to x plus y that's the bottom this now implies that a itself is simply what u all over v so this is now what quotient differentiation so i'm going to apply the quotient rule and from quotient through, I know that partial derivative of A with respect to X is simply going to give us what? Keep the bottom, which is V, differentiate the top partially with respect to X. I simply have partial U all over partial X plus minus. Now you keep the top, which is U, differentiate the bottom partially with respect to X. I simply have partial V all over partial X. Now all over what? Bottom squared, which is simply V squared okay so this gives me the partial derivative of a with respect to x now i know what v is i said let v be x plus y i also know what u is u is simply x all i need to do now is simply what find partial u partial x and also find partial v partial x that's all i need to do okay so let's try now from u from u equals x I can find the partial derivative of u with respect to x differentiating u with respect to x i will simply have what one if i differentiate x i will simply have one also from v okay from v equals x plus y if i differentiate v partially with respect to x okay since i'm differentiating partially with respect to x it means i'm going to be treating y as what a constant so i cannot differentiate y y will be treated as a constant so first of all i will differentiate x i will simply have one if i differentiate x but now if i differentiate y y becomes zero since there is no variable attached to it so the derivative of y with respect to x simply gives us what zero so it means partial v partial x is still one partial u partial x is still one so all i will do is simply what plug it into what the given equation okay so so we will now employ what the quotient rule. Since we found partial u partial x, we will find partial v partial x. Let's now substitute into what the quotient rule to find partial a partial x. So I need to take this side off. Okay. All right. So partial a partial x is now equal to. So we said keep v, which is the bottom, and v is simply x plus y. So we have x plus y differentiate the top partial u partial x and partial u partial x simply give us one so multiply by one minus keep u which is the top now and u is simply x x multiplies by differentiate the bottom partial v partial x which also gave us one so we simply have one all over bottom squared v squared which is simply x plus y um, all squared so we have this so partial a partial x is simply equal to so if i expand this bracket now i will simply have x plus y because x plus y multiplies one still remains x plus y minus x multiplies one here still remains x all over x plus y all squared so this simply implies that the partial derivative of a with respect to x is now equal to so from here x minus x is off so i'm left with simply y all over x plus y all squared so this gives us the partial derivative of a with respect to x so if we've gotten partial a partial x we've also gotten partial z partial a which is here it means we cannot employ the chain rule which we have already established from the beginning as simply partial z partial a multiplies partial a partial x so simply multiply those two words derivatives together and it will give you what um, derivative of that function okay let's do it now see okay so um, recall partial z all over partial x from chain rule is simply 
partial z over partial a times partial a all over partial x all over partial x okay all right so from here now partial z over partial x is now equal to we know what partial z partial a is partial z partial a is simply what this x plus y all squared all over x plus y squared plus x squared so we'll bring it out we simply have x plus y all squared all over x plus y all squared plus x squared so the whole of this multiplies by partial a partial x and partial a partial x simply gives us y which is this all over x plus y all squared okay so guys notice here now that x plus y squared can actually cancel x plus y squared from this side okay all right so i'll simply have partial z all over partial x will now be equal to okay so this is gone so i have simply y multiplies here which is simply y y all over we have a x all over we have a x plus y all squared plus x all squared all right guys that becomes the partial derivative of that function with respect to x okay so see the same thing if you want to find the partial derivative of that function with respect to y it's still going to be chain rule this time around it becomes partial z all over partial y is equal to still partial z over partial a doesn't change multiplies now by partial a all over partial y so which means you're only going to be differentiating a with respect to y okay that means you're only going to differentiate a with respect to y and then multiply it together with the value of partial derivative of z with respect to um, a all right guys so i'm going to leave it to you um try to see if you can do the partial derivative of z with respect to y uh, my number is displayed on your screen so you can hit me up on whatsapp with your um, solution let me cross check your work and of course i promise to give you a feedback i'll see you in the next video with more questions on partial derivative thanks guys and cheers